So rather than that, that third guy, rather than looking at a wall across the way, he should be looking up at that saw. Reach her up, him that thing, kicking the door. That's interesting. Holding the mag, holding the weapon by the magazine wall when he's got a front sight post. I've got to play with some Apaches, and let me tell you, thank God they're on our side. Holy Lord, those things are incredible. Oh yeah, do the boat drop. These are fun. Done these, and let me tell you, you would be. Nowhere near the front of that thing going out. Absolutely not. Those things in 33 feet go from 0 to 120 miles an hour, and you are sprinting like crazy to keep up with them afterwards. Badass machines. Excuse me. Incredible machines right there. The um, close air support like that. Those helicopters, unbelievable. Really appreciate the guys that were in those covering us. Oh, that didn't work out so well for him. Cyber, very effective and mentally debilitating because if you don't know where the person is, it really uh, wreaks havoc on you mentally. Definitely got to find out where that person is and get out of there. Obviously taking far, you got to find better positioning than this. And the water suited nothing but slow you down. Yes, I agree with that comment. Get on shore. Completely exposed in the middle of this uh, stairwell here. You got a K-wall right to your right and you got the cements of the bricks. Oh, the, the cement of the stairs. Realizing that you're standing up. Meanwhile, your buddy's crouching. Come on, we can do better than this. Again, you have a pistol. Why would you... You better be bingo on um, on ammo if you go to a pistol. That's interesting. Holding the mag, holding the weapon by the magazine wall when he has a front sight post. Not actually accurate right there how he actually opened the door. If he breaches, someone else is throwing the crash. Pick up this other gun. This. So it's fascinating, you see us standing, getting hit, and yet the person was just below us, kneeling, not getting hit. Just to tell us, use our levels more. Be not to overexpose yourself like we are. There we go. That's a bit weird. Okay. All right, so this is a robot now, okay. Driving it right through the middle of everything, I find to be unnecessary because what happens when this thing goes down? Yeah, it's still you taken out to sit in the middle like that. If anything, utilize this sacrificial lamb when you know it's about to go out. Keep pumping 203s out of it and utilize that to draw the fire as men then move to a new location. So rather than that, that third guy, rather than looking at a wall across the way, he should be looking up at that saw. Reach her up, him at a thing, kick at the door. Yes, that was good. Yes. Again, I think I've covered the whole pistol thing enough in, two, in enough videos. Find employment. There. That's kind of why I'm not a fan of looking down the sights the whole time. Your peripheral vision is greatly skewed, and you couldn't, you can't really see the uh, the guy up on top because you're looking down a, a one inch lens, one inch wide lens. Man, we need to secure this target. Just in the middle of an open hole, not a good idea. See, this I actually like. In this room, if somebody were to take far left corner, somebody take the far right corner and have crossing fields of fire, that's beautiful. You got almost every aspect covered on that. You're running right towards a, a guy with a gun. No cover, no nothing. Yeah, horrible position. These type of shots that you're that we are taking as our first as our POV on this, that changes the whole mission right there. We're not assaulting four. This now becomes a medevac mission. Oh, that's a heck of a shot. Your sergeant standing right there. As erratic as that was, that wasn't even controlled. So you've got all the cover of these rubble and these buildings and you decide to walk down the street. I hope with, if, with him doing this, he's got somebody covering his six. It's effective. Used to jump on the enemy's gun, the big gun like this, and start laying down lead. Absolutely. This is gonna last long. Look effectively, fast. Love this. So the good part. I love how they're using the cover for this. Fantastic. You're actually inside the room. Your weapon's not sticking out past the wall. Bad part. That's gonna echo like crazy because this is not a suppressed suppressed weapon, and it won't take long before people start to hone in on where you're shooting from. Oh, RP tree. Yep. Take out some of those skitties with AK. I've got to play with some Apaches, and let me tell you, 
Thank God they're on our side. Holy Lord. Those things are incredible. Very cool helos to play with. Oh. Apparently we're Navy SEALs in this. Great weapon to the right, that FN. Great weapon. Which is like, uh, he helos would not be hanging around an insert like this. They're either going to come in, drop their package, and they're going to get off target. Because those are major assets and big targets. So it seems like pretty much all we're doing is we're acting as the machine gun on the side of the helicopter as we're flying around in circles. Fun for a video game, but wouldn't be real world like this. And what's fascinating is as well, they don't need to be this close to uh, to targets in order to hit them, the helicopters. They need to be much higher, much further away. But I do appreciate the uh, opportunity to mix up the mission set a little bit and actually do something different rather than just patrol on the ground. So we're obviously good position behind this cover, but we gotta overwhelm these targets, move through. Wow, stuff blow himself up. Got to move through this. We are sitting ducks right now. So we overexpose ourselves. Let's use these as the front or the rear of the vehicle. We've got all this, yeah, rock, brick, cement, everything around us. Let's utilize it. I actually like that you. The game is giving the the individual what he deserves, kind of when he overexposes himself. So I'm I'm very appreciative of that. Let's go. Let's go. Get that weapon up. Slow mag change. Jeez. Then in, 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 in a scenario such as that, you got enemy right there, and you're out of magazines. Definitely, that's where you would drop your, you'd lower your primary, take out your pistol, and neutralize that that immediately. Why are we turning around? Bad guys in front of us, not behind us. We got a whole team there. Push up, bound up. Don't just sit there. You can make the next advancement. There we go. Good. Again, that would have been a instance to transition from primary to pistol because you're out of ammo. But if you, if you have two other meat eaters in the room, get out of the way, let them take care of it. I like how they came through, had high, went to glow, immediately started engaging. Neutralized bad guy there. Yes. Send it. Good use of a grenade. Good use of a grenade. Well done. Good. I like how he used the, the, the frame of the door. Also helps that we have nods and they don't. A lot of, and again, I know it's a video game, but like we're, we're sweeping our buddies a lot and it wouldn't be as bad if you just like lowered your weapon and then when you came in the door, you pull it back up. So one thing in environment like you gotta worry about is ricochets. You just start hammering away. You have a lot of ricochets going everywhere because that rock is gonna deflect misses. Much better, better use of cover. Wow, just threw a grenade out in the middle of where his buddy was. Uh, we as as you said it was I don't know, team guys, I don't do that. That was definitely exhausting going through all that, but a lot of fun. And I hope you enjoyed Medal of Honor as well. And if you'd like to see more of what Gameology has to offer, please check out our YouTube channel, subscribe to it, and our Facebook page. And we will see you soon.